Hi, I'm Blake with New Canoe. We're here at the Grassroots Outdoor Alliance Trade Show in Loveland, Colorado. And with me here is the very first production model pursuit that has shipped out of our factory. I know a lot of you are anxious for the pursuit to arrive at New Canoe dealers near you, and they will be, they are shipping now and will be there soon. Um, so I'm just going to run through this one for you so you know exactly what to expect when the pursuit arrives to your New Canoe dealer. And overall, the boat turned out really nice. We're super excited about how all the components and parts and pieces and seat all came together, just how it looks and how it all works. Starting at the bow, we have the gear vault, which is oversized. Uh, we have the four toggles on it, so it'll be completely secure um, and watertight. And inside that, we have an awesome removable kind of hard shell liner that can serve as a cooler, um, storage for fish, for live well, you name it. Easy to take out, easy to clean. Just a really nice feature. Now we have the crate space, which is great for tackle box, for a crate pack, a small cooler, along with the Freedom Track on the side so you can mount your rod holders, any device you want there. Next up, we have one of the coolest features on the boat, which is the paddle holder plus the internal rod tubes. So that paddle holder, one hand, slide your paddle into place, one hand, pull it out. And on the rod tubes, you can store up to a nine foot fly rod just about any spinning rod, safe and secure inside the boat. And inside the, the, the cover plates, there are actual tubes that go up to the bow and then come back. So it's one tube that connects top to top on that, and then another tube connects uh, bottom to bottom, left to right. So there's no opportunity for water to get in there, and once you put your rod in, there's nothing for it to snag on, hook on, get caught up on. Uh, next on the deck floor, you'll see these little uh, indentations there, and those are for your heels. So when you're paddling, you got a little place to put your heels to call that home, um, or you can also put your heels up on the little uh, side ledge there. So you got a nice foot brace uh, without having anything get in your way. Then we have the 54 inch of Freedom Track on the deck floor for the seat and for any accessories you want to have down near you. And then we get to the seat, which is super awesome. The seat's very comfortable with the, the angle on the back support, it really emphasizes supporting your lumbar, your lower back, and also leaves your upper body, your shoulders free to move for, for paddling, casting, um, whatever you're doing out on the water. The fabric's super comfortable, has some natural stretch to it, and the seat base is really wide, so it's not gonna pinch your hips or confine your legs. And another great thing about it is how easily it transitions from up and down. You just slide the seat down, rotate it back up, to go from high to low, and there's a strap on it so you can secure it when you're in the high position. Moving on back, we've got a little uh, zigzag cleat here for tying off an anchor rope or other line. It's a nice uh, compact size so it doesn't get in your way. And we have the ledges for your rods. It's kind of a nice snug fit so the rod fits in there tightly, doesn't want to come out, wobble around. One of the more subtle features on the Pursuit is the little indentation in the gunnel for your paddle. So when you're using the paddle holder, paddle just kind of rests right in there and has a home, doesn't want to roll side to side or move around on you. Then we get to our flush rod holders that are standard uh, with the nice cover, so if you're not using them, it won't accumulate water. Great place to put your rods, keep them out of the way, keep them up away from the water. Then we have the stern crate space, which is big enough for a 45 quart cooler so you'll never be lacking for cooler space out on the water. Also a great place to, uh, for tackle, for a crate pack, anything like that. Uh, then finally we have the deck plate in the back and that gives you one more place to store your gear. Also access if you want to install extra hardware, um, run wiring for electronics, anything like that. And at the very back of the boat, the signature new canoe transom, square transom so you can put your motor on there and also the hole in it so your transport cart will work. Um, and then finally, underneath the boat, we have a removable drag plate. So if you get stuck and have to drag your boat across gravel or concrete, the wear will be on that removable plate. And if it ever wears thin or is getting torn up, you can replace that uh, quickly and easily. One last thing to mention on this boat, this Pursuit is outfitted with the uh, Deluxe Outfitting Kit. And that includes the Mighty Mount up here at the bow, the deck pads in the bow and stern crate space. And those serve to provide grip for your gear so that it doesn't slide around and also minimize the noise that that stuff may be causing. Uh, the uh, kit includes the ring straps on the, uh, the back of the uh, rod storage area and paddle storage area that are nice for when you really need your gear to be secure but not essential for, for normal use. 
Um, and then finally we, we have the deck plate storage bag uh, that goes inside the deck plate for storing stuff and the mighty mount at the stern. So that's the pursuit from bow to stern. Um, we're super excited about it and I know you're going to love it when you see it at the new Canadilla near you.